I know you've been wanting one and it's it's the perfect size. So I okay, well we'll we'll get it open. We'll get it open. There you go. See? It's perfect. It'll be great for you. Okay, I'll I'll get it out. There you go. Yeah, it's got controls on the side and that's the probe. No, no, it's a, it's a single, it's only single channel. He might have been a little disappointed that it's only a single channel, but I think he'll like it. Um, it's got uh, nice, nice controls on the side. It has a built-in probe. There's no BNC. It comes, it comes with a, a, a built-in probe that just wraps around and around and around in here. So that's kind of, that's a little bit strange. And then it's got a power cord that just wraps around and around and around in there too. So, so that's pretty cool. And it's supposed to be battery powered. I'm sure the batteries are dead on this thing, but um, that's something I know is fixable because I've seen it done many times on YouTube. Uh, other people have had these things. So zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's too small <laughs> to zoom in. <laughs> uh, so how big is that display? Um, let's see, it is diagonal, a 60, 60 millimeter diagonal. That's like a two and a half, a little less than two, it's about two and a quarter inches. <laughs> it's tiny, it's super tiny. Um, I think it's, uh, well, so I, I bought it off of eBay. Nobody else bid on it. Um, some guy had it. I asked him some questions. He, he said it, it did have a spot at one time and he did use it at one time for, um, you know, as a scope and uh, so it's probably just a battery thing or a power supply thing or something like that, uh, get it up and running again. Um, so it came, it came in a package and I didn't realize this, but he's got the manual for it, the official manual. So this is a Tektronix 211. Um, yeah, a manual, <laughs> how awesome is that? Uh, let's see here, let's check the specs. The bandwidth is 50, 500 kilohertz. So a half a megahertz scope. Definitely the slowest scope I've ever owned. <laughs> I think, I think I had a, I think the first scope I owned was a one megahertz scope. So I think this beats it for the slowest scope. But this is certainly the, cute, the cutest scope I've ever owned. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this, I got it. Yeah, it's complete schematics and everything. Oh, and in color too. Is that getting washed out by the camera? Probably. Let me turn it, turn it down a bit. Yeah. Oh, beautiful Tektronix blue labeling. Uh, comes with the case. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I like it. Anyway, this will make a great, uh, I don't know if it's a repair video, a refurbished video. Um, the batteries inside, I can bump up the exposure again, I'm sorry. So, uh, the batteries inside are nickel, uh, nickel cat, uh, NICADs, um, and there's two of them in here. And some people have just replaced those and left the charging circuit alone. So, some people have put in lithiums. So, not quite sure what I want to do with, I kind of like the idea of lithiums. But, uh, but yeah, I think, uh, I think we should take a look inside, don't you? All right, we're inside. I've uh, accidentally loosened one board here. Or maybe that's why it wasn't working. <laughs> that board wasn't attached. Anyway, um, these are the two battery banks. Uh, so I know they just sit in there. I'll have to figure out how those come out. Here's the CRT. How cute is that? So
There you go. This cute little board here. This is the driver for the uh, for the CRT. Oh, there's a broken uh, component here. There, there, there used to be a so many puff capacitor right there, but it's uh, only only the uh, end ends are are visible. The the middle is gone, so that's something that needs to be replaced. Um, this is the uh, input section over here. All the adjustments on that. So this, these connectors here go into these onboard connectors here. So I know those are sometimes fragile. Um, and then uh, these are just these plastic pieces that go into that bottom PC board. They should just lift out, but they're they seem to be somewhat attached. I don't know what's holding them in. Hmm. I don't know if they're attached from the bottom. I don't know how to get that bottom board out of there. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, I've taken out the, uh, the cute little CRT and uh, I'm able to look at these batteries here. And they're on with double sticky tape. Okay, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to test these batteries, see if they, they just plug in here. Um, let's see how they how they go. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Maybe I should mark those because they're not obvious the way they go in. Interesting. Take a picture. All right, so here's the battery pack. It has Mr. Battery, NICAD, NICAD batteries. There's three wires here. Why there are three, I'm not sure. Um, and there's double sticky tape here. Why don't we, uh, why don't we measure this and see uh, See what it's doing.
So I measured the battery at uh, 6.25 volts, and this one also measures 6.25 volts. So um, it's five cells, one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be at least five, five, let's see, I think it's 1.35 volts, 1.35 volts for a, for a NICAD. So it should be 6.75 volts. Hmm. 1.25 times 5 is 6.25. So they're they're one and a they're one and a quarter volts each right now. And I think that's fine. So my guess is that the only thing wrong with this is that connector came loose. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that. And then that one missing thing, but it might just be flaky. Um, did I show you that well? Let me show you that one. You can see a dog bone cap here and a dog bone here, and then there was a dog bone here, but it's gone. It's just gone. So uh, yeah, we should probably we should probably replace that before we try to power it up because um, it has to do with the high voltage circuits here and stuff. So we'll figure out what that one is and replace that, and uh, yeah, go from there. <laughs>